flash one, copy. Let's take it down, go low. Benji, splash one, splash one. Benji, copy splash one, one, splash one, copy, splash one. Three minutes. Got together. Sleeping aid in... This is an... ...and fat... Call this number. Smile fun, gentlemen for the bicep. Next B4. We'll see you next. All contains the duck. Now he. Going into half. Then I. Item three. Call to. Sued by the cadet. Clear the kill. Clear the kill. He's a bandit bandit. Edgy. Clock. Had been fired, but it had the sleeping. Mighty good job. Here. Relief. Right where I hurt was the area telling you that it was okay to fire as long as the target was in that. Telling you that it was okay to fire as long as the target was in that area. Hey, brothers, let's take it down. Go low. Benji, splash one, splash one. Benji, splash, splash one, one, splash one, copy, splash one. That's the code telling you that they have hit the aircraft and it's down. It's a terminology that is used in both the Air Force and the Navy to tell, the, tell them, tell their leaders, tell everyone on the radio that they actually fired on and hit the target. When you heard them uh, tell them to break down and away, break away, they were taking a standard evasive maneuver. After they have fired a missile, what they're trying to do is get away from any other aircraft in the area that might shoot them. There were two MiGs in the area at the time. They acquired one, they got clearance, and they shot one down. The printed material on the videotape confirms the Iraqi plane was in the no-fly zone when it was shot down. Stay tuned to CNN Headline News. We'll have the latest information on the crisis in Iraq.